Well, you have to love boats, and you have to love water, and you have to love Alaska, and uh, you have to be a good boat operator, and you have to like it, and then you have to like people. So there's a number of factors that go into what makes up a water taxi operator. My name's Mako Haggerty. That's Mako like taco. Good morning. What's going on? Yeah, good? Yeah. I live here in Homer, Alaska. I've lived here since 1982. That's uh, 32 years. I came up here, I was a commercial fisherman, and then I uh, got into uh, water taxiing here in Kachemak Bay in 1996, and I've been doing the water taxi ever since. There's no such thing as a typical day, and there's no such thing as a typical day in commercial fishing, and there's no such thing as a typical day in water taxi, which is why becoming a water taxi operator was so easy for me and difficult for others is because it's not a nine to five job. A lot of people aren't mariners so they don't understand why maybe uh, I would do this all the time. Um, maybe only pick the nice days. But I actually like being out there on the rough days too. Uh, it's challenging, exciting and fun. If you're just running a boat on flat, calm water all the time, that can be maybe a little bit boring. So every condition out there on the water I find uh, to be um, enjoyable. I guess in the back of our mind, there's always danger, but uh, I guess something could always happen. It's not something we um, focus on. I wanted to be a service to the people that live here. And that's basically, I think, what we've become. There's only two ways across the bay. One's by boat and one's by air. And uh, if they can't fly into places like Seldovia, then the water taxi is, is the uh, next alternative. There are people that are afraid of flying. Um, there are people that have a lot of gear Planes don't go everywhere. In fact, the airplanes and even float planes are fairly limited in some of the places that they can uh, access and boats can access more places. We can pack more gear. And then of course there's the people that would rather take a boat than fly in a plane. Of course I've got fears. In fact, uh, I would say that probably um, running Boats was facing one of my fears. You know, drowning is, uh, yeah, I do. Uh huh. Yeah, I would say that um, it's a, uh, yeah, reoccurring dream, actually. I spend my entire life on the water, so that's, um, that's probably just natural. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. During the summer, I'll take a lot of visitors across the bay to the park, and it'll be a bright, sunny summer day, and the water will be blue, and we might even see a whale crossing the bay, and people will come up to me, and they'll tell me I have the best job ever, and I think that sometimes I do. Uh, but there are days that we go out there and we're battling the weather, the waves. We've got people on the other side of the bay that absolutely need to be picked up. So it's not a matter of choice whether or not we cross the bay. So sometimes I'll have people actually say, boy, your job sucks. Happiness is different for everybody, but uh, oh, yesterday I was out in the boat with some photographers and the sun was out and the weather was really nice and it was still winter and and, uh, and we anchored up and, and got just some fantastic wildlife pictures there yesterday and I realized there was no other place I'd rather be.